Shalom and Salam. So this is Wendell Malanso of the Line of Judah Society and uh, our co-laborers, co-laboring. You know, due to the recent like events that, that have taken place, specifically uh, Women's Wednesdays and some of the stuff that, that I and I have been observing or been witnessing, I realized that, you know, some things I personally take for granted and just assume that, that many um, have already come to the full understanding of what, you know, I and I have, have received from such a time. And so, although we've, we've um, put out material in, in one particular case uh, before, long ago, it, it seems that, that these small details that need to be um, brought to the conscious of, uh, of us as a as an organization and that's the that's the key word actually to be organized and what it requires now it's necessary to bring forth certain things I, I just assumed uh, was ones as a fellow disciple in the society to to just um <clears throat> realize for himself and just go about it and and conclude and complete and fulfill now the line of Judah society uh, and I'm not saying anything negative about women's Wednesday I just saw I just saw that some things um, are just not known even amongst others that have been you know in in fellowship uh, co-laboring for such a time now and it, it was pretty interesting so now it is necessary that we bring forth um, uh, in the beginning to co-laboring in the line of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie I. I personally would counsel, and I see no reason why this counsel should not be taken up and received. And I'll, I'll, for the record, this is in love. But in love, we love one another the way that Jesus Christos, Yeshua HaMashiach, hath loved us. And we do all things decently and in order for we are in organization and we must be organized and thus we bring forth this message this following message in the beginning of co-laboring before we even uh, go forward to these these other works which in the grace and mercy of the Almighty Yahweh Elohim hath been permitted I and I, elder brother, hath um, hath not made it made it uh, made it anything. But I personally, out of love that Jesus Christos hath showed us, in which that in turn glues us together, bound or bonded with a clue stronger than even blood bring forth this out of the necessity to honor and to give credit where credit is due and so for my brother Wendem Yadon and that's redundant so anyway for Gracia Dinos to Ferry Wendem Yadon to Aina uh, brother Yadon it is it is worthy that credit be given to whom credit is due and the brother has worked hard and long time to set up the organization and the least I and I could do coming into it is give honor to the system that hath already been established with blood, sweat and tears. I and I sure. I and I. So I would say are we co laboring? But first and foremost, are we even officially, officially, in spirit and in truth, a member of the society? Have we even taken the liberty to print out an application, fill out the form, along with the ten dollar fee, which is um, which is um, another reason why and I do this kind of thing is because it's a, it's a good way to you know we we can we can all afford ten dollars and it's support nonetheless for the society. You know we've even brought forth this message um, to the Spanish-speaking true and faithful scattered throughout the world. 
we've brought forth this because it's a it's a principal step it's the beginning it, it, it's a society it's an or, it's an organization if you're not if you have not applied and presented the fee required you're not documented as as even a member officially in spirit and truth in spirit you know no, no doubt I, I ain't trying to take that from no one but if we go apply for a job or any other kind of club or whatever we do apply we we go through the process so why would we disrespect the society of his majesty that to, that now carries that ark of the covenant so i don't think it's it's um it's like even a question in love we would all run out to do it and it's it's cool if if we didn't know but now that we know what are we to do so are we even official members official members of the society have we even applied and and submitted our applications along with this I would recommend to organize a binder with those plastic clear covers you know and in which are encased the printed documents that we could all find by going to lojsociety.org slash study PDF versions it's easy just go there and all these documents are are ready for us to take it seriously so going forward I would suggest that the Shabbat readings be printed up and those be be um, no doubt um, set aside in a in a different binder uh, that is more pertaining to the discipleship but it, it is still as important as for the the binder that will hold the the important documents for the society as official members recognized through our uh, application and signature and entrance fee by night once recognized uh recommend counsel that we go forward with this binder and also printing out the eternal life new covenant creed sign it if necessary store it within the binder along with the copy of the application we send one in we keep one and if necessary print out extra copies we counsel to go forward and print out the eternal life of his imperial majesty covenant terms if necessary sign store in one of those plastic clear covers in that binder recognized as an official member of the society I would also counsel that the declaration of sovereignty be printed out read and studied the letter of opinion be printed out read studied and no doubt the line of Judah Society ICC I, uh, the Universal Church Code specifically be studied read and studied again and go online and and uh, you could you could on uh, there's videos that our brother Yadon has put forth concerning the universe Universal Church Code official order of Rastafari business And I now would counsel that a copy of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights as well be printed and stored within this binder of an official member of the society. Now, why the Universal Declaration of Human Rights? Because our UCC, Universal Church Code, brings forth a position that is upheld only and through the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. So we would um, counsel to go forward in such a way. And, um, you know, uh, it's what it is. So we give thanks to all. Shalom. Salam.